Hello everyone, it is me, David Walker, and today I'm here with my baby girl, Tiffany. She is, um, <clears throat> almost, she's nine months old now, <coughs> excuse me. So, hello, Tiffany. <coughs> yeah. So, for those of you that are newer to this channel or, or don't know much about Tiffany, here's some information. Tiffany was born a premature baby. We, I got Vanessa pregnant with Tiffany around a year ago, in March of 2021. Because yes, I was at the time cheating on my wife, Erica. Eventually, she got, we were, she was pregnant in around three, three and a half months, almost four months along. Tiffany was born at 24 weeks, making her one of the smallest babies ever in the records. She was born early, very early, because she was not due... Tiffany was not due until November or October, I mean, end of October, beginning of November of 2021. So yes, Vanessa was still very early in her pregnancy with Tiffany. In fact, she didn't even know she was pregnant with Tiffany. So yes, Vanessa died sadly a day after Tiffany was born on July, June 11th, 2021. So yes, and Tiffany was born just a few hours before on June 10th, 2021. So yes, that was very sad that Tiffany now will have to grow up without her mother. But Vanessa picked the name Tiffany because she wanted T to match Travis, her other son. So yes, who she will probably not really know anymore now since Vanessa passed away. So yes, um, that is Tiffany. But today is my daughter Madison Walker's fourth birthday. So yes, I cannot believe she's already four. So yes, um, I can't believe Madison's already four. Hey, Mackenzie, you Marcus? <laughs> David was cheating on Erica. He was? Yeah, they were cheating. He cheated on her before. <laughs> Marcus, we shouldn't tell anyone. Why? I want to go tell Erica. No, Marcus. Why? It would just ruin her day. <laughs> Marcus, you act too much like your dad and I'm trying to be like mom. Please. But please, mom's dead. Marcus, don't say that. <laughs> it's almost been a year. <laughs> Mackenzie, you okay? No! Hey, what was that? Ow, Mackenzie pushed me to the ground! Mackenzie! Come on, you should know better, you're almost 13 years old! <sighs> yes, David. <sighs> because of that, I'm telling Erica. No, Marcus! Ow! <sighs> My brother is so annoying! <sighs> I love spring. Erica, uh, hello, Marcus. What's what's up? Guess what? What? David cheated on you and had a baby with someone else. Yeah, I know. I've moved on. You have though. Have you really moved on, Marcus? Yes. Why are you saying that? Well, <laughs> David was telling the story about Tiffany, and apparently she was born premature and all that. Very premature, Marcus. She was not even supposed to survive. She was born at 24 weeks. Babies aren't supposed to be born until 40 weeks. She was 16 weeks early. Yeah. I know. <laughs> oh, Marcus. I just wonder if we'll ever be here long term or not. Because Ben is our dad. He's in jail. And our mom is Erica. Hi, Mackenzie. Hi, Erica. And also, hey, Erica. Yes, Mackenzie? Did you know that David... Not David, sorry. Um, my dad, Ben, had a, his first wife's name was Erica Walger. Not Erica Walger, Erica Taylor. Yeah. But now she died, too. Um, okay... 
What's that? Everyone dying, kids. I mean, your mom died. She died. Ben's mom just died. Well, my mom just died. Uh, well, almost two months ago now, but yeah. Yes, Erica. Mackenzie. Yes. Oh, there's your brother. Yeah. Are you guys ever gonna move out of here, or are, are we just gonna be living here forever? Well, you know we have no other family. Why would you even say that? Oh, Grandma died now. Thanks. Yeah, it's all your fault. Kids, no, it is not my fault. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it is. You know what? I'm tired of sleeping on the couch. Aren't you, Mackenzie? Well, yeah, I can agree with you on that. And I'm tired of having to share a room with Madison and, and James. They're so much younger than us. Only by like seven or eight years. That's not the point. We're out of here. Yeah, Erica. Kids, what? No. Yes, this house is too small for all of us. And you guys clearly stole my dad's house. So guess what? We're out of here. No, guys, where would you go? We're running away. Yeah, we are running away. Because I'm almost 13 and I can do what I want. You can't do what you want until you're 18. If you leave here, do you all go to the orphan center? Well, because they'll find you and bring you to the orphan center, you guys. I guess not. But we should talk about moving then if we're going to stay here long term, Erica. Yeah, where are we going to move to? Kids, we're not moving. Why? You have five kids living here, Erica, in a two-bedroom house. That's really, really small. All that there is downstairs is a laundry room and a rec room. That's it, which you have full of storage stuff. I know, kids. This is a really small house. David, come here. Excuse me, children. Don't speak to me like that. What is it? We're moving, okay? Uh, no we're not. Well, this house is too small for all of us, for five kids living here. You know what, Mackenzie? We are gonna leave. We are? Yes. But Marcus? No. We're out of here. See you later. Kids, no! Yes, we're out of here. No, kids, no! No, kids, no! Sorry, I have to follow my brother. Yeah, and realistically, I don't really like your side of the family. I don't like having stepbrother, a stepbrother and two stepsisters. I'm fine with just Mackenzie. So you know what? We are out of here. Kids, stay put with me, please. You have no other family. I'm the only family you have. Family? You being adopted is now family? I don't think so. We are out of here. Kids! Fine, if you leave, then I'm just gonna call the police. Do whatever you want. Our dad's in jail. We don't care if we go to juvenile. Yeah, we're just kids. They can't do anything to us. See ya. Kids, are you taking anything? No, we need somewhere to keep stuff. <laughs> bye, Erica. Yeah, bye. Just close the door. Okay. What? Why, kids? <laughs> well, I they weren't the most well behaved, and I would have hoped another relative could have taken them. But you know, that just means I have to do some more research. Who else is on men's side of the family? Does my biological mother have kids? Does my biological father have kids? I don't know. But my biological father isn't the Ben's father because his dad died and his mom now died. We're gonna call Ben, actually. I just can't believe my father, my brother's a criminal. <sighs> I mean, when I was adopted by my adopted parents, they only adopted me, so there's literally no one else. What happened down here? Oh, nothing. Can you get me the phone? Yeah. I heard some shout shouting down here, and those kids were saying this house is a bit small for five of us. Where are they? Oh, well. They actually just left, but maybe they'll come back, I think. But, yeah, I think, David, that I'm going to call Ben and see what's happening. Why would you want to talk to him? He's in jail. David, he's my brother. 
Erica, you just found out you were adopted in November. You really want to have, try to have a relationship with that man? Well, yes, I have his kid. Yeah, and they're just as bad as him. I obviously did not like those children living here. But David, they had no choice. Oh, whatever. You call him. Yes, I will. Okay, David, please answer. I mean Ben. Hello, Portland Police. Hello, this is Erica Walliver. My ba brother Ben Erdl is in jail. Would you be able to please let him out? Ma'am, he still has a long time in prison to go. I know, but his children just left. Please file a search warrant for them. Ma'am, his what do you mean his children just left? Well, I was go watching them because, as you know, their situation. And they decided they're leaving, so I really don't know what to do. Ma'am, the... We are sorry, but we will have to come find them, but if found will turn to you, do you want, ma'am? Well, we don't know because I just want those kids to go to a good home, but they don't have anywhere to go. Oh, I see. Yeah, so please help. Well, ma'am, I don't know what to do, but yeah. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Marcus, what are we going to do? I don't know. We need to explore this city. You know what? I have an idea. What? We should act as orphan kids that have no home and no family because that's basically what we have. Because I'm not coming back from this abandoned dump up here. Well, Marcus. Join me or not, Mackenzie. If you don't want to join me, you can head inside, but I'm leaving. Marcus, I don't know, okay? I want us to stick together because you're my only sister and my only family member left besides my dad. So come on. What are we, how are we going to get down though? There's only one way. Jump. Marcus, we're going to die if we jump off this cliff. <sighs> Mackenzie. That's how our mother died. Our mother fell off this cliff. You really want to end up like her? And what will I do then? Mackenzie, I can't handle this, Marcus. Don't! <sighs> ah, Mackenzie! Marcus, no! Marcus! Marcus! Come up! <sighs> oh, how are we gonna get down? Oh no. Okay. One, two, three. Marcus! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, I land on the roof. Do well. Jump onto this roof, then. Come on, Mackenzie. Let's head up. Hit up the um housing. Okay. Oh, perfect. We made it. So, which house first? I don't know, Marcus. There's a lot to pick from. You know what? This is a silly idea. Thanks, genius. Like I knew that. Well, Marcus is. Yeah. You're just realizing that now? Look how far away we are from the cliff sides now. Yeah. Let's just wait here, though. We don't have to go in anyone's houses. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Look, Mackenzie, there's police. Ah! Stop it right here, kids. Get in the back, kids. What? Yeah. You too. Why? We found you. We need to return you to your rightful home. Come on. What do you mean return us? Your aunt is looking for you. In the car now. Oh, fine. Thanks, kids. I really hope you're not following in the footsteps of your dad. No, so we're trying not to be. Well, that's very good because you don't want to end up in jail. What did he exactly go to jail for? Sorry, kids, we can't discuss cases with you. What? No, we can't. We're sorry. Anyways, here's our stop right here, although we missed the entry. So, yeah, let's head up. Happy birthday, dear Madison. 
Happy birthday to you. That's the door, I'll get it. Yay! Hello there. Hi, police officer. Hi there, I found your two children that need to be returned. Thank you so much. You guys don't want to wait, please. Sorry, Aunt Erica. Sorry, Aunt Erica. Good. Now, we better get going. And kids, remember, don't end up in jail and don't follow your father's footsteps. Okay. Bye. Bye. Kids. You know, you guys should be very grateful for living with me. I would have not been able to take you in. Then you'd be in foster care. Or worse, put in an adoption center. Yes, Mom, we're sorry. Me, not Mom, Erica. Good stuff. Now let's head in. And you guys can maybe have some birthday cake. Okay, great. Bye.